When Muhammad Ali claimed the heavyweight world title, he claimed the power to change the world. But with great power comes great responsibility. And luckily for us, there's two new heroes in town. The UFC's heavyweight champion and firefighting paramedic, Stipe Miocic. And the boxing champion and former United States Marine, Jamel Herring. And with the Black Lives Matter movement finally gaining momentum during the global pandemic, their timing couldn't be better. Those things, they, they really they really hit home, because especially for the fact, like, you know, I've um, defended, defended in my country, you know, um, you know, overseas, elsewhere, and just to come home and see that there's, there's actually a war within your country. So that, that I think that's just more of the heartbreaking um, scenario, if, 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 you, if you understand what I'm saying. In a time when the world needs to come together, the last thing we need are champions who want to create division. And in recent times, we've had more than a few champions who have done just that. Manny Pacquiao is a boxing icon, Filipino congressman and senator, and a devout Christian who has done some truly wondrous things with his power. He built 1,000 homes for the needy out of his own pocket. He gives food to the hungry, and he employs the homeless. Pacquiao fights for what he believes is right, but what he believes is right is the problem. As a Christian, same-sex marriage is prohibited. Female was created for male, male was created for female, claimed Pacquiao in the same year he built the low-cost housing. So here is a champion using his power to make the world a better place, while simultaneously using his platform to denigrate a whole section of the global population. Animals are better because they recognize gender differences. And if you have male-to-male -male or female-to-female -female relationships, then people are worse than animals. For a boxer so brilliant and moving forward, Pacquiao's increasingly evangelical attitudes are turning him into an incredibly backward politician. And as we're seeing in the United States, that's the sort of politician who only incites hatred and violence. For these comments, all of Pacquiao's major sponsors dropped him. But did he learn his lesson? Hello, everyone. Thank you very much to all of my supporters. I'm asking for forgiveness to all those I hurt by comparing people to animals. That was my mistake, and I'm very sorry for all the hurt I have caused. My decision about same-sex marriage does not change, as that's what I believe. The mistake I made was comparing people to animals. I am humbling myself before you and before God. That has to rank as one of the worst apologies in history. But that's all we got, and it's likely all we ever will. Former UFC champ Conor McGregor has repeatedly used homophobic and racial slurs at press conferences. Billy Joe Saunders posted a clip of himself explaining how to better hit a woman. And for a time, the lineal boxing heavyweight champ Tyson Fury was doing all of the above and more. Before his well-publicized breakdown, the Gypsy King claimed that the legalization of three things needed to be accomplished before the devil came to Earth. One of them is homosexuality, one of them is abortion, and the other is pedophilia. Fury equating homosexuality and abortion to pedophilia is in no way okay. But thankfully, his struggles with mental health seem to have made him a better man, and his experiences traveling the world a better champion. It's opened my eyes to see so many different cultures, so many different things happening and going on. And, you know, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of homeless people on the streets here, more than I've ever seen ever in my life. You know, I'm, I'm staying in downtown LA, but if you go five minutes down the road, there's like, I don't know, thousands of homeless people. You think you might be in a third world country, but it's a crisis situation, something needs to be done about it. I know I'm just an outsider with an opinion, but it's a, uh, it's a situation that's happening all over the world, especially here in the UK as well. When I go home, I'm going to build some homes for the homeless and uh, set up some homes for the uh, drug addicts and the alcoholics. Speaking words like these while surrounded by firefighters, by first responders who make sacrifices every day for our benefit, these are the actions we need from our champions. 
But Stipe doesn't just talk to first responders. He is a first responder. That makes him more than just a champion because he doesn't do it for himself. He does it all for someone else. Listen, man, I'm just happy to cement my legacy like everyone's talking about this legacy. Only reason I'm happy to cement my legacy is to show my daughter, if, if we have more kids, to show them that hard work pays off. You know, listen, if you do something, you put, you put, you put your mind and effort into it, you do good things. Miocic does it all for his kid. So when he was told he'd lose fans when he voiced his support of the Black Lives Matter movement, what did he say? I'm not worried about my fan base. I'm worried about the world my daughter has to grow up in. And that's a hero sacrificing popularity for what's right. Sacrifice is also something Jamel Herring knows about all too well. Having served two tours of duty in Iraq before becoming a boxing champion. Boxing is very, very therapeutic. It's something I, it's something I enjoy. You know, of course, nobody enjoys war, you know, no matter what, what they may say. So I look back of, you know, my times being deployed in Iraq and I, I say to myself, you know, I'm lucky to be where I'm at today because I've been through the worst in the past. Now that he's home from war, Herring follows in the footsteps of his own hero, the heavyweight champion, Muhammad Ali, who sacrificed his own career to change the world. One point in time, we all know the great Muhammad Ali was hated, hated. Banned. They took everything from him. But now when you speak of Ali, he's the greatest thing. He's the, he's the greatest thing in, in history. So it just goes to show you how, how, how things over time, you know, they change and people start to see and understand why these individuals did what they did. Ali fought for what he believed was right. And it cost him the world title and three years of his prime boxing career. But he was right because he fought for everyone. And eventually, the world learned and grew in no small part thanks to Ali's sacrifices. The world will always need champions like Ali. And if fighters like Herring and fighters like Miocic can carry on fighting his good fight, then hopefully, the world can carry on that good work, too. At the end of the day, I just want my daughter to be proud of me. You know, my dad did something with his life. My dad, you know, he fought for a living to give me a better life. You know, that's all I care about. Yeah, I mean, I just hope that um, we can start coming together as one and, and we resolving some of these issues. I mean, nothing happens overnight, of course, but if we at least get on the right path to, to you know, to getting better, I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.